I was questioning a doctor during his pretrial testimony in the defense lawyer's office. And now I asked the doctor a question. He threw a major tantrum, got up and walked out. The court reporter, the court stenographer turns to me and said, in over 20 years of doing this, I've never seen a doctor act like that ever. You want to know what this is about? Come join me for a moment as I share with you some great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. And let me share with you what happened when I was questioning a doctor during his pretrial testimony known as a deposition. This type of question and answer session takes place in his lawyer's office, in his conference room. Now, there's no judge present, there's no jury present, there's simply a court reporter there to record all of my questions and all of the doctor's answers. You should know that even though this is in an informal setting, the doctor's answers carry the same exact weight as if he were testifying at trial. So now, this was a plastic surgery case, and I asked the doctor a series of questions that questioned whether or not he knew what the standard of care was for this particular circumstance. And this doctor started to scream at me. He started to yell. He started to pound the table over and over again. And he started to take his anger out on me. How dare you question me, the expert? How dare you question me, the board certified expert? And he went on and on for about five minutes. And I'm loving it. I'm sitting there listening to this garbage. What I've done is I pushed his buttons. Now I know what gets him all riled up. Now I can use that information a year down the road and show to the jury how this guy is going to explode the moment I begin to question his credibility, the moment I begin to question his credentials and his fund of medical knowledge. That is an extremely useful tool for me to learn during the course of questioning the doctor during his pretrial testimony. So what did this guy do after a five minute rant where he's screaming and yelling? He decided to act like a two year old child, threw his papers down, got up and walked right out the door. And his attorney did a double take wondering what just happened? And he goes running out after his client. So now the only people left in the, in the conference room are the court reporter and myself. And she turns to me. She's an unbiased person, has no interest in the outcome of the case. She's there to record the questions and answers. She turns to me and says, in all the years I'm doing this, I have never seen anything as outrageous as what I just saw. And then I said something very interesting. I said to her, if you were a juror in this case, and now we were at trial, what would you think of this doctor because of his crazy outburst? She said to me, I think he's 100% guilty and responsible for causing this patient's injuries. And you know what? That was exactly my thinking as well. There was absolutely no reason for this doctor to get all hot and heavy and obnoxious and nasty, all because I asked him a series of questions which, by the way, I have every legal right to ask him. Technically, he's considered to be a medical expert, which means I'm entitled to ask this doctor medical expert questions, opinion questions. Doctor, do you understand what the standard of care is for this situation? Tell me, what is the standard of care? Did you violate the basic standards of medical care in this case based upon what you did? So now I'm questioning what he did and what his knowledge is. You know, I realize you're watching this video because you have questions or concerns about your own matter. Well, if your matter did happen here in New York and you're thinking about bringing a lawsuit but have not done so yet because you still have questions that need answers, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your questions. You know, this is something I do every single day and I'd love to chat with you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a fantastic day.